words about uh, mosaics. And uh, do, do we have the fanfare? No, we don't need a fanfare. Afterwards. afterwards. When, when the thing comes down, yep. boom. Good, go. good idea. Right. It's widely considered that it was the back end of the third millennium BC that the first mosaic was made in a place called Mesopotamia, if you will. It no longer exists. Don't try and hello. Don't try and look for it. Um, it's buried somewhere underneath Syria. Hello, sir. Um, and uh, so basically, the third millennium BC, that makes mosaics about 5,000 years old. Now, the one that was made in Mesopotamia was made in exactly the same way as this one, using the same processes. So what does this tell us about mosaicing? Well, unlike all the other oh. art, mosaics have not come on one jot <laughs> in 5,000 years. But that's no bad thing. I mean, there's not many things that you can say that of. Well, there are, actually. There's one thing that hasn't changed in 5,000 years, but it's a bit rude, and it's the wrong time of the day to be oh, talking no. about that. Um, what is, oh, there's another thing, wine. Now, see, wine hasn't really changed in 5,000 years. Um, certainly not the wine I buy, anyway. Um, so what fantastic, it's all right, it's all right, they're, they're, they're friends. What fantastic bedfellow mosaicing is. On one side, making babies, and on the other side, booze. What a happy triptych that is. Um, I think it's something that all of us have experienced uh, sometimes in our lives, um, making babies, mosaicing, and booze. A beautiful partnership. I think I might try at least two of those this afternoon. Babies, um, so babies. without any further ado, we're now fully up to speed with the history of mosaics and where it lies in the pantheon of time. Um, I'm going to hand you over to the man whose name has just escaped my body. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Yes. Uh, uh, um, burgers, burgers uh, of Muswell Hill. Uh, I am, as you will remember, the mayor of Muswell Hill. I've just been brought back from retirement. My last job was here at the Midsummer Muswell when this mosaic was started over the road in the church. And I've been brought out of retirement to assist in the unveiling, which is, I may say, a very dangerous uh, gesture, and also to introduce you to the artist who is responsible for this whole wonderful piece of work. And that's your chance, Leona, step forward and be photographed. We really... Then I'll just give it a pull. Then we'll okay. And then you'll do the fanfare. You mustn't miss the fanfare. Oh, it's so nice. Thank you, people. Uh, so we made the mosaic over three afternoons. It was part of the uh, mosaic, uh, part of the the summer festival. Midsummer, Midsummer, Midsummer well. once more. Well, thank you. And then it was <laughs> at the Methodist Church in Pages Lane. And then we did the third one at a little small event in Pages Lane, which is really lovely. Loads of people took part, all different ages. There were some teenagers, there were smaller children, there were adults, there were grandparents, loads of different kinds of people. It's fantastic. Um, and it's all been self funded by me because I just think it's a really beautiful thing to have. Yay! Would you like donations? And, uh, <laughs> is we'll reveal it and then I'll just give you a little backstory about the design so you know a bit more about it. Should we do that? Yeah. Right. Fanfare, fanfare, fanfare. Yeah. Want to say any more? <laughs> so, uh, so the design is based on um, all the different architectural features in the area. The, uh, the blue swirls are from the plaster work. If you look right up on some of the houses, they've got these really beautiful plaster work, so the spiral from that. Um, the grapes are also from the plaster work, which uh, back in the Edwardian times, grapes symbolise uh, longevity and prosperity, which I thought perfect. Uh, put those in and then the flowers at the bottom there from the stained glass windows on some of the doors um, as you all know it's just beautiful stained glass in the area of Georgia. and these this bit here this is from um, the woodwork so there's lots of porches in Muswell Hill that have got that gorgeous kind of 
Mm. Quick worky bit, so that would go from that. Uh, and there's just a circle in the centre that is just to represent the well of Muzzle Hill because you've got to mention that. And the, uh, the font was given to me by Bill, Catherine's beautiful husband, Bill, who's a font master, wow. and uh, picked the <laughs> original font that was used back in Edwardian time. So that is a reference to that. Uh, oh, and the sun shines from the porch as well, from the porch designs. So I just wanted to say thank you to loads of people. I want to say thank you to Deanna. Yes. Hey. You're so lovely and supported me right from the start. I want to say thank you to um, Jill and... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's coming. Jill and Catherine, Jill and Catherine from, um, uh, from the Methodist Centre in Pages Lane because they've just been fantastic and really supportive. I want to say thank you to Sean from Tops Tiles because they've donated the tiles. Oh, well fabulous. Hey. It goes to Tops Tiles. I want to say thank you to Vanya for just being a beautiful human being. I want to say oh. thank you to Zach, yeah. wherever Zach is, for doing all the photography and the video Yay. and putting up with me having the mosaic in our flat for like months. Um, and thank you to Roland for coming along today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was very funny. We we move on the band. I think. <gasps> no, there's a little gesture. Oh, well, wasn't that good? From here. Oh yeah. The Muswell Hill Brass Band. Are you ready to play? Almost. Three, two, one. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Right. Yeah. Oh, you did it.